Okay, so we're done with sectioning for today, but we haven't sectioned all the tissue. Why don't you look in and let's see how much tissue is left here. I can see a lot of tissue still in my block. So we're gonna wanna do this later. We don't wanna throw that tissue away. It's exactly the regenerate that we want. We wanna get more tissue sections onto more slides. And a block of tissue this big, right? That's a millimeter long. We should be able to get 50 sections of 20 microns each. We should be able to fill up 10 slides easily. So let's try to save this. First of all, what I'm gonna do, if you can look at the wheel over here, if I put the wheel, let's go, oops, yeah, let's go this way, towards, with the handle towards the top, this is a locking mechanism. Now I cannot move the chuck anymore. Notice that the chuck is out of the way, so now I can mess with the blade. So I will loosen the blade, push it from the back, grab it only from the side in the back and place it back uh, 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 behind the Peltier cooler so that I do not have to worry about anybody cutting themselves. Now it is fine for me to touch any part of this. So now I'll go ahead and unlock this again and bring it up higher so that I can easily get my tissue block off. And now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this doesn't dehydrate as I put it in the freezer for the next however long until we finish sectioning it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the OCT from the fridge. Always good to have the OCT in the fridge. And I'm going to cover the exposed face of the tissue. I don't have to worry about the rest of the block. And when I come back, this will be frozen. Cryo boost. That will be completely frozen. So right now I'm encasing in ice what I want to study later. It's completely cut, surrounded in all directions by ice. What else would I do to clean up? This I'm going to put in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. Um, and now other things that I have to clean up, okay? We've got a spray bottle of 70% ethanol here. We can grab some uh, tape, paper towels. And... We want to wipe up all that mess that we have made in the back and the bottom here of little shavings of ice that don't even have our tissue in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press these buttons to move the chuck holder all the way back, get it all the way out of the line. Notice this bar right here, specimen travel available, three bars. As I keep pushing that away and away and away, it says, wow, you're nowhere near as far forward as that thing can come. So I've got it out of the way. I can also loosen this part, which is our blade holder, and expose all the nastiness. So let's do a quick spray here of 70% ethanol, and we'll clean up all this extra tissue that has fallen into the back. If you knew you were gonna use this the next day, I wouldn't say you needed such a thorough cleaning that you actually remove the blade holder. But always will want to wipe down whatever you have been using. I'm gonna grab another paper towel. Oh, I got some Kim wipes right here. So if I've got tissue, like axolotl tissue, that I've been cutting on here, I can clean all the different parts so that I don't have dead and decaying tissue just sitting here waiting for the next person to come along and use the cryostat. Notice that while I was doing that cleaning, hey, our tissue has frozen. So I can now take that and put it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. Um, if I was completely done, let's say I'd sectioned all the way through the tissue, and I was now just down to the bottom of the sandwich with nothing but OCT, then I would run the chuck under warm water in the sink, catch any OCT that was coming off in a glob in a paper towel, and then dry the chuck and place it in here for the next time that someone wanted to use it. It would already be cold and ready for them to go. And that's the cleanup of the... Crown